Nobody wants to get united. Like what we gotta do is meet everybody in home 49th Street at the bench. Today I'm gonna show you exactly how to do basic 3D in graffiti. But first let me tell you, today's video is actually part of a much larger tutorial series that I'm doing here on the channel. So be sure to watch the full playlist if you want to get good at graffiti. Okay, so here we have some basic shapes. And these basic shapes are meant to teach you everything you're going to need to know in order to add 3D to any letter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first pick the direction we want our 3D to go in. So when it comes to any rounded part, in this case a circle, when we're adding 3D we have to find the apex for the direction we chose. If I show you right here, this is not the apex. So we're not gonna do the 3D from there. Obviously everything from here down isn't the apex either. So we keep on going, we keep on going, we keep on going, we keep on going till boom, look at that. We found our apex right there. And that's gonna be the same thing for down here. Once we find our apex, we can go from there and we can draw our line out. So this line right here, we're gonna call that our 3D line. That's not an actual terminology, that's just something we're using for the sake of this video to make it a little bit easier to follow along with. So our 3D line has to be identical up here as it is down here. This means the same length and angle. But we're gonna go from our apex like we did on the bottom and we're just gonna draw the line out. So now that we have both 3D lines, now we have to connect the dots. We have to make an exact copy of this line right here down here to connect the dots. This line right here is an exact copy of this line right here. And that's important that you be exact with that. I'll actually do it wrong just to show you an example. You see the difference between these two? On the top one, this line right here, our 3D line, does not go to the apex and as a result the form looks off. And here, this line does not replicate this one, so the form looks distorted. That's why it's important you go from the apex and you replicate this line identically over here. Now you guys who are fine artists know that this is not actually how you draw a cylinder. Perspective comes into play, but for graffiti's purposes, this is basic 3D. Now if we move on to the triangle, we're going to go 3D going downwards. And the way it works for pointed edges instead of rounded edges is you're going to go from what's called a vertice. Now a vertice is where two lines connect. So you have three vertices here. You have the top, the right, and the left. Well, if we're doing 3D going directly down and we draw a line straight down from here, we're not gonna see that because notice how it goes into the triangle. It's behind the triangle. So we're not gonna see that. And we make a straight line down. Well, suddenly we can see that. So that's the 3D for the triangle. And notice something. Notice how this line right here is identical to this line right here. That's one of the most important things for doing basic 3D in graffiti. So now let's do 3D going down into the right. Once again, we're going to use the same thing we did for the triangle. If we draw a line going down to the right here, once again, that's inside of our shape. We're not going to see that because it's behind our square, right? So we draw a line down into the right here and suddenly look at that. We can see that. We draw another down into the right here and we draw another one. And well, it looks like we can see these three. So we're going to connect those dots. So there you go. There's our 3D down to the right and it's looking pretty good. And just know if you're having trouble doing a direction of 3D, you can simply turn the page to be the 3D that you're comfortable with. So now we have some overlapping shapes. We've got a diamond circle triangle, and we're gonna show you guys how to do 3D on overlapping shapes. So we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna do 3D going to the right once again. Now things are getting a little complicated because now we have a vertice right here. Well, remember, our basic rule, it's no different than up here on the square or now a cube, and no different over here, right? So you go to the vertice and you draw a line to the right. Can I see this? No, it's behind the circle. So we have to look for the apex. Up oh, here's the apex. Let's go ahead and draw our line. Let's keep it the same. We draw the line to the right. We can't see this. It's going inside the triangle, so we're not gonna draw that line. You're not gonna overlap this. You can, but that's a little more advanced. It requires you to know space and form. It's an advanced technique, and once again, remember, we're keeping it simple for the sake of this tutorial. So. For basic 3D, you're not gonna draw this blue line right here. Not gonna happen. We go to the next vertice, can we see this? Nope, it's inside the triangle. You're gonna come up here, and we can see this one, so we're gonna go ahead and put that there. And then we come here, can we see this one? Nope, it is equal with the actual bottom piece of the triangle, so we're not gonna draw that either. This is why it's important to keep everything exactly the same angle, so like that you don't end up messing up and drawing 3D going down like that, or accidentally mess up and draw the 3D going up. And now all we do is we connect our dots. And this is where the technique of drawing through comes into play. Because if we want an exact 3D, all we have to do is draw through our circle. We're not Remember, we're not going to keep this line. It's just a measurement. That's all we're doing right now. We can draw this 3D and then we can go ahead and replicate this line and it shows us, all right, this is where our 3D would stop down here. 
So we would go ahead and draw this in. And then we can erase all of our drawn through lines. That's why the technique of drawn through is so useful for 3D. Once again, we continue on, we go ahead and we replicate the circle. So we draw this, we draw this, and then we can just go ahead and bring this straight down. Once again, remember replicating this line over here. There's your 3D. So now you guys know all of the basics of how to do basic 3D and you can apply it to anything. So when we have just half of a circle, no matter how we do this 3D, let's do this one going down into the left. Right there is our apex. Because if we continue down into the left here, you're not going to see it. If we continue here, you're not going to see it. If you continue here, it's going to go behind. So this is our apex. Once you found your apex, you go from the same angle right there. And what do we have to do? We have to replicate this line to connect this dot right there. And then we got to connect this one. And this even works once again for irregular shapes. I can just scribble whatever like this right here. So if we go directly to the right, we go to our vertice. There's one there. You can just do 3D to the right, 3D to the right, 3D to the right. Follow the curved form with 3D to the right or any direction for that matter, doesn't matter. And then you'll see we come to down here where it goes, all right, now we're working behind. So we're not gonna draw this back here, right? There's not gonna be 3D there. You can always double check your 3D, don't forget. We're looking for the apex, we're looking for the apex, looking for the apex, and boom, there it is. Here's our apex. So you come here and you come up and there you go. There's 3D for our irregular shape that we scribbled. So if you do this practice that I just showed you guys, letters suddenly become a breeze. Let's go from here, starting at this vertice, down into the right. So now this 3D line has to be identical everywhere else. So now we come to this vertice, remember it's inside the shape so we don't draw it. We come to this vertice, it's inside the shape we don't draw it. We come to this one, ah, look at that. It's outside, so we can draw this one. And now we have to look for the apex for it down into the right. So we look at that angle and we drag that throughout this line and look at that right there. That's the apex right here. So you can just draw that. And now we have to copy this exact thing like we did in all of our other basic, you know, 3Ds before. And there you go. And then you go to the next vertice, down into the right, down into the right, and we find the apex down into the right. And there's gonna be kind of an optical illusion where some 3Ds may look shorter than other 3Ds. And that's just kind of how forms work because you have to understand our apex is here. So this line, this 3D line, is actually this long, even though it looks like it's this long. So it's important to understand that it's still the same length, it's just distorted because the way the form is forming. That's kind of what forms do, this is what gives it depth. We have to find this 3D out inside the letter G. So how do we do that? We go from this vertice and we can simply draw through the letter. Here's the 3D here, right? Down into the right, down into the right. So it comes here, comes through, and then it comes down. So we would draw this part right there. And then for the R, if you wanted to do, let's do straight down, because we didn't do a lot of that. So now, be sure to go to all of your vertices and double check, and go to your, all of your apexes and double check. Because look at this vertice. You're not gonna see the 3D in here. But it's good to find out where it's gonna land, because then when we find our apex over here, we can go ahead and know where we have to line up. So we know how far it should be. So there's that. We're not gonna see 3D in here, because the 3D is too long. But we can, however, still draw the 3D line right in there. That still adds depth. And now all we gotta do is connect the dots. Replicate this line, albeit a super skinny 3D in there, that's still fine. Replicate this line, and then continue that throughout, and there you go. There's how you do basic 3D. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this helped out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. This tutorial series is gonna take you from day one of graffiti, and it's gonna teach you everything you need to know about basic graffiti. Also, check it out. In the description down below, you can download a free PDF tutorial on this topic. There's two different versions. The free version has a complete tutorial, and the premium version is only $2.50 and comes with a complete tutorial of its own, as well as a lot more additional information, and a practice sheet with some pieces that you can go ahead and practice on. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to today's video. If you enjoyed it, if I earned your like, be sure to hit that button. It helps out a ton. And also, share this with your crew, and post it on any forums you're a part of. Post it in order to spread knowledge about graffiti. For those of you guys who are new here, my name is John Green. We do weekly art videos, and this is the best place to come to for graffiti information. So feel free to subscribe, become part of the family. Anyway, thank you guys tremendously for watching. I'll catch you guys next time, but until then, peace.